Deputy Premier Jeff Seney has unveiled the Queensland Government Airport Direction Statement, which outlines the future for airports throughout the state and which will enable Sunshine Coast Airport to more easily attract investments for its planned airport expansion. The State Government will convert three parcels of land upon which the airport stands to freehold title at no cost to the Sunshine Coast Council. By giving Council the certainty uh, in terms of the land tenure, it enables us to go to the market and speak far more confidently with potential investors uh, about the development of that airport, about the development of a new runway which will enable us to take uh, much bigger uh, jets uh, from international ports uh, and to develop our aerospace and aviation industry uh, to provide those high value jobs that are such a key tenet of our economic development strategy. Potentially, there's thousands of jobs in the construction uh, trying to put a number on the operational jobs thereafter is a little bit more difficult. But the thing about these jobs is they're highly paid jobs. As we announced last week with McDermott Aviation, uh, employing an extra 16 people but paying them $1.8 I mean, do the maths, these are jobs worth over $100,000. These are uh, almost three times the current household average on the Sunshine Coast. So that's why it's important to attract industries that can afford these high value salaries. Council also sees today's announcement as a show of confidence in the Coast's recently announced Regional Economic Development Strategy and signs of an increasingly coordinated approach from the various levels of government. Oh, I think it's a huge um, vote of confidence in this Council and on the back of the priority development uh, area identification for Maroochydore, uh, the State Government um, is buying into our vision for the future and I think that's really important because our, our objectives aren't that dissimilar in terms of trying to stimulate and grow our economies for the benefit of our existing communities and those that will live here in future. And having the right infrastructure and the right sort of opportunities uh, as identified in our economic development strategy are absolutely vital.